What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having an amazing day. We're back with Funko Pop Mystery Box Fridays, guys. We're going to take a look at some mystery boxes. We're going to review and talk about the companies and see what we can get. So I can help you guys who want to buy mystery boxes make an informed decision. So I used to do these videos back in the day and I've kind of fell away from mystery boxes lately. You guys have said we really like those older videos. Some of you are new here and you've seen those and you wonder why I don't do them anymore. So we're going to take a super responsible and good look at Funko Pop mystery boxes from different companies. Things that you guys have suggested to me. So light the comments up down below. Let me know where I should get a box. Now, for you who don't know, I'm not the 500 box guy. $500, $600, I, I don't do those boxes. I want to do realistic boxes that realistic people can afford just like me. Because I'm not YouTube rich. I'm just a regular dude, loves collecting toys and loves sharing it with you guys. And thankfully for the support you've given me, I'm almost able to break even on doing that by now. So hopefully in the future, we can make a few extra bucks and do some special stuff. So if you're new here, please smash the like button. If you like this guy, Adam here, please subscribe to the channel. For everybody else, welcome back. Love you all. Thank you for the support. So what do we have? We have five mystery boxes. They were at a cost of $9.99 each. They shipped from a brick and mortar store that's been around for eight years in Nashville, Tennessee. These boxes shipping was only $6.47. So for these five boxes, I paid like $56.47 shipped. This is Poppin' Off Toys. It was suggested to me. I don't know if I'm living under a brick. You need to let me know. You're going to have fun with me opening these if you haven't seen it. I'm guaranteed to mispronounce a name and not correct myself. And you guys can give me hell about it in the comments. So there. So make sure to at least stick around for when I mess up. And then you guys can light up the comments. Also let me know what boxes I should buy. So Poppin' Off Toys. Did some research so I could tell you guys what's up. Been around for eight years and they're a brick and mortar, so that's pretty important. I asked a few other fellow creators if they've had any dealings. None of them had had direct, but they know other creators who've done things with them who say they're solid. Looking at their Facebook, their Yelp, their Google, and their website, they have great reviews. They're doing these mystery boxes like a lot of people are. These ones, they're giving away, it's um, the uh, SDCC, it's the Sully, Mr. Incredible, and Mike. That's the, they're worth $2,250 for Sully, $1,750 for Mike, and $1,870 for Mr. Incredible. They're all respectively LE480s. There's a thousand boxes, and the way they're going to do this is super interesting. So they separate them into groups of 333, 333, and 334. When 333 sell, they'll ship those 333 out with one grail. Pretty much all the rest are going to be commons. That's what it's going to be. They need to get rid of commons. They're brick and mortar. Funko stuck them with all this inventory. This is how they're going to do it. So you're going to take a chance and you're going to gamble. So when reading their reviews, the only bad ones I got was, I got a common pop in a mystery box. It wasn't even worth what I paid for the box. Those people are uninformed. This dude is super descriptive on his site. All right. And remind you, I don't know this guy. He doesn't know me from Moses. And I ordered them under my full name, and I've never done business with them before. So I have a five in 333 chance to hit something better than a common. Let's take a look at what I get. I want you guys to let me know what companies should I be checking out. And would you gamble on this? Because that's how I see it. It's gambling. If you have $56 to toss out and take a chance that you might only get back half of that, none of that, then do it. If you want specific things for your collection, save up and buy them. That's what I always say. But these are fun because these are some fire grails. And for 56 bucks, it's a great, great little chance. And to show you guys a new company we've never done on the channel. So I'm super excited about doing it. 
and I hope we have a good time. So I got this giant box with four separate boxes in it. So the first thing I see for me as somebody who sells pops and gives stuff away is that I've got some good packing. So thank you for that. <laughs> the boxes now are $8 each because they've saved me a buck 75 on packing. So thank you. So the first box that we're going to open right here is going to be dun dun dun. They come nicely individually wrapped. And they've got their popping off toys card. I'll hold that up for a second, let it focus. So you guys can go ahead and pause and scan that if you'd like. But uh popping off toys. I'll link everything down below. Um, right here we got the blue beetle from the uh, DC Superheroes line. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are the... Um... Oh, so here comes one. I've, I'm drawing a complete blank on the designs of these, what they're exactly called. They're like sugar skulls. Uh, very, very cool art. Um, never seen that one before. Uh, didn't enjoy the movie too much. It still seemed like it was a made-for-HBO movie. All right. So we got a common. Let's go ahead while we're doing this and let's look it up live so we can see we paid $9.99 for the box and this pop. Now we go by Hobby DB because they go by averages of eBay and stuff. Um, this one is worth $10. So we broke even on that box. And that's all we're really hoping for is to break even on the box. And uh, I'll be taking a lot of these pops with me if they don't fit the collection. This Saturday, guys, tomorrow from 10 to 5, I'll put all the information down below. It's on my community page. Maybe Carrie will be nice enough to pop something up right here. And I'll be at the Louisville Con with my buddy Brad, who does my thumbnails. He's got some fire art and some classic toys. I'll have some Funko Pops. I'll have some stickers if you come by to see me. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun, guys. Got some good guests uh, from Dragon Ball Z out there. Cosplay, video games. It's always a good time. So if you're in the Louisville area within a few hours, come on in. Come over. Say hi. Get a sticker. Chill out with me, guys. I love to meet all of you. All right. Our second box is... From Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Hespera, right there. There we go, guys. Check that one out. Is that something you'd like? You'd like to add that to your collection? Me? No. The movies were okay, but I'm not a big fan of the Shazam Pops. I've got to be selective, and it just wasn't something. So let's see what Hespera is worth. She does not have a price on her yet in Hobby DB, even though it's been out for a year. So we're going to just go ahead and give it the default value of $10. Because a pop to go to the store and buy costs at least $10. Most of the time more than that, but we'll be fair and give it $10 and say we broke even on the box and got a common. Now, the only thing we're really going here for, guys, is the thousands of dollars worth of grails. Now, I don't know which grail was included with the 333 set, but I know one of those was. There's a little bit of disparity in price, but not enough to make me worry about which one was actually shipped out. So the third one that we have right here is going to be <laughs> Algae Rhythm with Pete from Space Jam A New Legacy. Mm. Not my generation, guys. I'm all MJ. So, you know, know some of you like this one, and some of you love LeBron. All right. Funny thing is, is usually when I do cons, because I bring a lot of great deals on Pops, and if you guys come out, your subscribers, you're going to get 20% off right off the top. And that's not even after negotiating. And I always price my stuff lower than PPG and check it live on PPG before you buy it to give you guys a great deal. So this will be out there. But I always have a LeBron pop somewhere hidden on the table for $1 because I'm just not a LeBron fan. All right. Fourth box from Poppin' Off Toys. 
So let me know down below, guys, what company I should try next. We're not going to do these every single week, but we're going to bring them back at least once a month. Um, we're going to try to do more mystery boxes. I got another one coming up. Uh, so what do you think about these? Let me know who I should go to. And I know somebody who's going to get this one if she doesn't already have it, but I think she does. So if she does have it, it's going to come out of box and go on the shelf with the ones me and Carrie opened for Valentine's Day. It is the Pops with Purpose Make-A-Wish Minnie Mouse. Check that out. There's all sorts of these. Um, Carrie has the Winnie the Pooh one. Um, we have like an R2-D2 one. There's like a Spider-Man one. These are awesome. Love these. And uh, me and Carrie aren't huge Disney collectors, but we do like the Mickey and Minis, and we've been saving them lately, taking them out of box and putting them over on the shelf. So it's been a lot of fun. So once again, popping off toys. Every box had a card with the QR code in it. Uh, they go live a lot. I mean, they look good. I mean, most, you know, the thing about reviews is funny. Most people don't leave a review until they have, if unless they have a bad experience. Because then they're like fuming and they need somewhere to go and vent that frustration, right? So they go and they leave a review. But they have a lot of good reviews too. But the bad reviews are things like how long it took to ship something that somebody pre-ordered. And I mean, as you guys know, most companies stop taking pre-orders on uh, Funkos at all because of the sporadicness of the shipping. And, you know, Funko, right, you know, it's just like with um, video games. You know, it's like depending on how many you buy and the volume you do, you're going to get priority over some of the little guys that order 10 Funkos rather than 10,000. Now, is that fair? Mm, some might say yes. Some might say no. I say, you know, it's capitalism, guys. So we got the fifth box right here. This is our last chance. We'll rub it on what's left of the beard. As you can see, it is coming back. It will be back. It will be back. I promise. All right. Now, with a run of 333 boxes, I assume that there was a chance that this could happen. And you have to take that chance. He's very descriptive. He gives a whole life story at the bottom of the, the mystery box in the thing. I'll put the links down below all about his company and all that. So, you know, we're supporting a small business that's trying to stay open, that does comic books and Funko Pops. Funko Pops are going down. They're going to add cards and stuff. I'll probably have to go down there and take a visit. Maybe if uh, they see me with the video, they can reach out email or IG. We can set something up and I can go check out the shop. Uh, the last one I got is a double of algae, algae rhythm. So a couple doubles, some commons. We never looked these up. We were so inconsistent with it. So the algae rhythms are worth $11. So on both of those, we plus one. And then uh, the mini mouse was worth $15. Bucks. So that's funny because it was like, what was this? I got the price right here of what I actually paid for it. Um, it was $56.39. So if you figure what we got was $10.10, 10, $11.11, right? That's 42, right? 57. So we broke exactly even with shipping. So, I mean, what can you say? Am I going to get exactly that when I sell these? No. Did I take a gamble on mystery boxes like putting money in a slot machine? Yes. Five out of 333? It's a chance. You could also win the lottery. So understand what goes on with these Funko Pop mystery boxes. Popping off toys, did a great job packing. They packed them with care. They came in good shape. Ended up breaking even based on PPG. I'm a happy camper. I definitely say if you want to gamble in some fun, low-cost boxes with cheap shipping and some good packing material, hit up Popping Off Toys. I'll have all their information down below. Maybe I'll head down to Nashville a couple hours away and uh, pay them a visit pick up some pops, show you the shop. Let me know if you'd like to see that, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. 
putting up with good old BOP here. Beard coming back soon. Going to have a lot of fun. See you at the Louisville Con on Saturday, 10 to 5. Everything will be in the description below. Next Wednesday, we'll be live with none other than the legendary K-Dog and Fish. Make sure to join me then, guys. For now, guys, this video's over. I'm getting out of here, so you might want to go check out one of the videos they suggest. I think I pulled a grail this Wednesday. Peace out, guys.